Hey everyone, this is Jarrell Maluso from the Mark Green Sports Center. I'm a personal trainer here and an intern from Cal State East Bay for the Parkinson's exercise program. Today we're going to do some dexterity drills to help promote our everyday task outside the gym. And we're going to do some strength training as well. Strength training can be highly beneficial for individuals with Parkinson's disease in several ways. One, improved muscle strength. Two, better balance and stability. Three, enhance motor function. Four, reduce tremors and rigidity. Five, increase endurance. Six, better mental health. Seven, slower disease progression. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so all we're gonna need for today's exercise, guys, is a silver sneakers ball or any type of ball works specifically, something that you can really squeeze and grasp with your fingers. If you guys don't have a silver sneakers ball, you can purchase one online, but if you don't have one of those, you could use something like maybe a piece of fruit, maybe an orange or something like that, something that you could grasp with your hands. But besides that, that's all we're gonna need as equipment goes for today. But before we get started with that, let's get into some warm-ups so our first warm-up of today is going to be some modified jumping jacks we're just going to take a step to our left and a step to our right we're going to alternate with our, our hands to our side and we're going to go for about 10 reps two three four five six seven eight nine and ten our next warm up is gonna be some marches. I really want you guys to swing your arms as much as you can. 10 reps as well, get some high knees in there. And we're gonna go for 10, all right? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Next, we're gonna do some arm reaches. Really pretend you're squeezing that ball at the end. Really. Twist your hips, pivot those uh, feet, and 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And now we're gonna do some wrist curls. You guys can go in any direction. Either way is fine. You could go outwards, inwards, alternate. Maybe have one go the other, go in opposite directions. Go for about 10 seconds, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, before we get started, make sure you guys have a chair to your side if you need it for balance and take a water break whenever you need it. All right, for this first exercise, you guys are gonna need to grab that silver sneakers ball or a piece of fruit or something that you could really grasp with your fingers. So this first exercise, it's gonna be called a split squat. So at first, I want you guys to have your weak side leg in front. So if you're a righty, have your left foot in front or if you're a lefty, have your right foot in front. Next, what you're going to be doing, you're gonna split squat, keep your chest up high and you guys are basically just going to squat down all the way and bring the ball between your legs and back up and we're going to do this for 10 reps all right so make sure you're breathing out as you're going up and breathing in as you're going down let's count to 10 as a group ready and go one two three four five six seven eight nine and 10. And now we're going to alternate to the other side. So I just had my left foot in front. This time I'll have my right foot in front. And then it doesn't matter which way you put the ball in between your legs, as long as you're uh, getting it in a full revolution, okay? And remember, you don't have to go at a fast pace like I am right now. You guys can go slow or at your own pace, all right? So we're gonna go for another 10. Ready as a group. We're gonna count out loud as we go up. Breathe in and out. Ready, down, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so for this next exercise, it's gonna be a call to power up. So basically you're gonna have your feet shoulders width apart and you guys are gonna hinge back down and you guys are gonna alternate with the ball. 
Bring it nice and wide. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. And you're going to alternate the ball in each hand. We're going for 10 reps as well. Starting now. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we forgot one piece of equipment for this next exercise. We prefer that if you guys have a carpeted area to do these, that's more preferred. If not, you guys can grab a mat as well to use. All right. Okay, so for this last exercise, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna do modified push-ups. And to get into that position first, you guys can use this chair or something like a stool or a bench. You're gonna put your hands onto the sit sitting part of the chair. Then you're gonna help it get you down to your knees. And then we're gonna start our modified push-ups. Make sure you guys are keeping your hips forward as you go, okay? We're gonna breathe in on the, on the way down and breathe out on the way up. So we're gonna count to 10 as well. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Next, when you uh, get up, use a chair to help yourself get your feet onto the ground first. And then you're gonna squat up and then use that chair for balance if you need it. So that's gonna be a full circuit for this exercise right here. And we're gonna do it one more time for the sake of this video. And then feel free to do it either one or two more times on your own. Okay, so we're gonna go right into the next circuit again. If you guys need a break, go ahead, take as long as you need, but we're gonna get right into it. So first exercise, that split squat lunge. Let's have our uh, opposite or weak side in front. So for me, it's gonna be my left leg. Ready, and go. Down, up, one. Down, up, two. Down, up, three. Down, up, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now you can take a break in between as well when you're alternating your legs, but we're gonna get right into it again. Make sure you're breathing in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. Let's get started. Down, up, one, down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Remember to go at your own pace. It doesn't have to be fast or slow. Go at your own pace. And for this next exercise, we're gonna go back into those power-ups. So get your feet shoulders width apart or a little bit wider. You're gonna hinge uh, down and back and you're gonna alternate hands with the ball. So ready? Let's get right into it. Down, up one, down, up two, three, four, five, six. Make sure we're really squeezing those shoulder blades. Eight. Oh, make sure you hold on to that ball as tight as you can. Nine and 10. All right, so now put the ball to the side take a break, take a water break if you need it, and let's get into those modified push-ups. So remember, use that chair if you need it for assistance or balance. We're gonna use it to help us get down onto our knees. And remember to keep our hips forward when doing these push-ups. All right, we're gonna do 10 again. Ready, down, up, one, down, up, two, down, up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now use that chair to help yourself get your feet onto the ground and back up. Thanks for doing this quick circuit with us. As you can see, staying in shape doesn't take a lot of commitment. We did this one really quick 
It can be as easy or as hard as you'd like. Make sure to stay tuned for more videos from us here at the Mark Green Sports Center.